How's it going, fellow Detroit Red Wings fans? So, the trade deadline wrapped up last Monday, seeing Letty, Nemestikov, Stetcher, and Witkowski get traded away while also receiving some veterans back from the St. Louis deal and some draft picks. Now everyone starts to wonder, are we going to see a prospect or two get a nine-game call-up? Maybe Jarek McIsaac, Donovan Sabrango, or the SHL standout who came overseas last season, Jonathan Berggren. Last season, like many know, Berggren, the second round draft choice for the Red Wings in the 2018 NHL Draft, made tremendous noise in Sweden last season putting up 45 points in 49 games played. Good enough to tie for 6th in points in the entire league. Also leading all U21 players by a large margin. So obviously the Red Wings would go on to sign Berggren and bring him to North America in hopes they have a future top 6 NHL player. So let's take a look at how he has done this season, what people are saying about him, and possibly him being called up to the wings for a nine game tryout. But before we get too far into today's video, I wanna give a shout out to Parker Wenson. We have had tremendous support from you guys and want to start thanking you guys for making the Red Wing Nation community a community. So if you wanna get a shout out, make sure you subscribe and join the discussion with lots of other great fans of this team and sports. So going back to Bergeron, he has had a great season, especially for starting out a little slow. Recording only one point in his first five games to start the season with the Griffins, but since then has regained his play, bouncing back to become second on the team in goals, assists, and points through 53 games played. Definitely not bad for a first year AHLer. In fact, comparing him to other U2022 players in the league, he comes in 10th in points, along with players like Alex Holtz and Marco Rossi. So, definitely good players to be competing with, but Berggren is definitely the older player of the group. So, what is being said about the young Swede? Well, just recently, Eisenman held a conference in regards to the trade deadline. But the topic of Berggren, Edvinson, and Soderblom came up. Eisenman talking about Berggren went on to say, Jonathan Berggren has had a very good season. We're pleased with his play. He's gotten better from the start to this point in the season. He has worked extremely hard. I want to make the playoffs. Referring to the Griffins, who are in a dogfight for the last playoff spot in their division. So I kind of trade off with maybe seeing him up here, but he certainly improved his play throughout the course of the season, and it's definitely something that's on our minds. In terms of where he could fit into the lineup, there's actually a hole in the top six. With Zadina not feeling too well, it's leaving them to fill in the holes with Rasmussen or possibly Valeno, which is good for their development, especially for Valeno, but for nine games, you would certainly be able to pencil him into the top six and give him valuable NHL experience. Does it seem like Berggren will get called up soon? Honestly, not likely. It seems Eisenman likes to take his time with his prospects, and unless the Griffins fall way off in the standings to where the playoffs is not really a thought, my guess is that Eisenman will opt for him to stay with the Griffins in the more competitive and soon playoff atmosphere. What do you guys think? Will we see Berggren don the wing wheel or will we have to wait until the 2022-23 season? Let us know down below. Red Wing Nation was designed to be a community of Red Wings fans that could come together and talk about all things Red Wings. If you like this video, make sure you drop a like. That way we make more content that you like. And lastly, if you are a Red Wings fan, if you are a hockey fan, if you are just a great person, make sure you subscribe and join this wonderful Red Wing Nation community. And until next time, Lights on the Red Light District.